show you. Um, spring is in the air. I'm going to catch up this week because uh, next week will be the end of the challenge. So this is how we left it. I had... Um, Oh, I hadn't put the uh, lace on the edges. Uh, so I've actually put the lace on the ed edges now. Mm. I've put a tie. I'm going to have this lovely white tie here. I've got the um, needle here, I have to take care, because um, I'm going to put some beads down here, as, just as a little dangly there. But I've also decided to change my uh, front out. Right, the thing is that with a, it's only one signature. These are the little things I'm putting in there as well. I made this um, rosette, little flower rosette. So that's going there. I did a little die cut there, but when I, I realised that as I'm going to fill the journal, my, um, it's going to get fatter and fatter, but it's not going to um, take all that I want to put in there, all the pretty delicate things. So I'm not having that as my um, cover now, my front cover. I decided to have a white one and I've put a spine in it now. Even though I, it's just one signature, I realised it did need a spine in there. So I've put a spine in now. Doesn't that look like a piece of lemon? Oh, that's lovely. So now that I've put the spine in there, that fits much nicer and I can, I'm able to get a lot more embellishments in there now because of having that spine the spine isn't very much I think it's only a quarter of an inch something like that let's have a look yes it's a quarter of an inch spine but that quarter of an inch actually gives me um, lots of room in there now to put lots of embellishments so that's going to be my spine there now and this is going to go on the front here of the and in actual fact i think it looks better now it's white i'll put that cream away it it shows up better now with the white so i decided to put a white uh, tie on there now and that's what i've come in to show you we're going to we're going to race along with this one i hope because i'm i'm just loving it i couldn't wait to get back to it this morning so as i say uh, oh that's the tie there and I have the other piece and that's going to be the tie the other side so there you go that's what it's going to look like but I'll put that away a minute there and I've ha I have a few beads here not many um, because I didn't want the dangly too but I just wanted it um, pretty pretty not too um, bouncy bouncy as such so I've already put my needle in here and what I like to do with my ties as well let me move up a bit um, that's very uh, flat and straight there so I like to come in I'm going to do uh, I've already glued this onto the back here so that's in place and that's not going to move when you uh, tie it up but Let's see here, I want to do, uh, again, like I normally do, a nice little running stitch along here. That's all. Um, because I want to try and um, pull the tie in a little bit. Tie closure. Hey, that's it, I've done that. I'm very difficult when you're filming. I know what I want to do and uh, you don't give yourself enough room either side. That's the problem. So now I've done that. And can you see, I want to pull it and gather it together so that, right, let's put my finger there. I've pulled it together. I'm holding it there. I've pulled it as, as much as I want to pull it. I think without um, distorting it very much so now I'll just come in and, and do a little um, tie off here and hopefully that's enough there um, 
probably could have done with a little bit more gathering together there. So let's go back the other. I've tied it off there, but let's go back and put another little running stitch in here. Just go all the way down again. Doesn't matter that it's all it's already gathered through, that's not going to harm it in any way. So what I've done now, another little running stitch. Can you see? That's it all the way down. And we'll just pull it again to gather it. Now let me see how that's going to look now. Let's pull it along a bit. Yes, I think that might be a little bit better now. It might have sagged a bit when I did the tie off, so I'm really going to hold it this time and do the tie off. And then hopefully that's how I want it. Oh, that is better, yes. So let's just come and bring our cotton up here. And as I say, another tie off here. Whoops, where's my cotton gone? Oh, it's still there, but it's getting caught up here, there. Put, right. Ah, that's nice. That's exactly what I want now. So there's my tie and I've done the little gathering there. I just like it. Um, that's how it's going to look on here when I put it on here. It's got a nice little gathered edge there. And then I think it just gives it a, a bit of neatness and it ties off better. So that's that done. Now I'm going to um, come in and do, put a few beads on here. Let's put the needle up there. Right, um, I tried to pick out some beads. Look, they've all mixed up again. Um, what I think I, I might like to go. So let's just grab a few beads onto my needle here. Finding these little holes sometimes is... Some some don't really have nice holes in them and others have huge holes. But these are... Um, so I've put two... Two pearls. I'm going to put two... No, I'll tell you what, I'm going to put three yellow ones because I've got more yellow out than I have pearls. So I'm going to put three. Oh, that looks pretty. I like that. There. So I've got two at the top there. And now I want another two at the end. I know the holes there. So come on, Shirley, find it. Oops! <laughs> Right, there it is there. Right, another two there. Whoops, get, get off. There's the hole. That's it. Whoops, and another two there. See, I like that. I'm not sure if you can see it there, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come along here now, put my needle down here, like that. I think that's enough I need to do it. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. And can you see, I've got a lovely little beady going across there. I quite like that. Now what I'm going to do, I want to keep that in place. It, it's just a little embellishment, that's all it is, to make it look pretty. So I'm going to bring my needle up to the middle here, like that. And now I'm going to find, I have um, 
three yellow beads there. I'm going to come over this yellow bead here and that will just uh, catch it in place. Oops, don't want it there. Oh, I didn't want it there. Definitely not there, but it's there now. And I'm not going to undo the... So, cotton and take it out of the needle and redo it. So I'm going to try and be a bit more precise this time. And up here, make sure... Yeah, I haven't got... And not in the back or anything. No, that's right. And now I'm going to try and come over where I wanted to come over in the first place this time. Let's see how this goes. Um, got it caught around her legs. Yuck. Um... Let's try and uncatch her legs. Fiddly. Now what's happened here? Oh, I know what it is. I've got too long a tag. That's it. Right. Hold. That's it. Let me see. I've got too long a, a bit of cotton doing this. That's the problem. Oh, that's okay. I've caught that there. Very nice. That's lovely. Um, I think I'm going to have to come up here because it's... Oh, it doesn't matter if it's not straight. Gosh. Let me come up here now. I'm just uh, doing a... a a stitch over the beads so that they stay in place better. Um, and I'm having problems for the needle. Go oh, that's it going through because I've already glued it and you know what it's like with the glue. It's hard to... Yes, caught that one in place beautifully. Now let's come back up here and I want to catch these ones in place here now. Oh, that might be about right, yeah. Let's go over here. Um, let's see. Catch this in place now not going to pull it oh there you go it's gone yeah oh yes that's fine. probably not as straight as I'd have liked it but it's not isn't that pretty so I have a few beads there I have the tie in place I was hoping for a little bit of a dangly but um I'm going to have to get uh, my pliers out and um, the, I'm not, I don't know the term, terminology, but the little bit of um, metal that you put it all on. And I don't think I'm going to do that, but what I might do is come down here and just put a few pearls in here as well. So let's tie, I'm, I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to tie that off and that's um, done. So I'm just going to the back and, and giving a little, um, tie-off stitch that's all um, see to try and catch this material now it's quite oh, awkward because it's um I'll tell you what I might do oh that's it I'll go do a long running stitch there and catch it there because that's got no glue on that bit there good that's tied it off nicely yes lovely so Let's put the scissors on that. Brilliant. That's there, and that's that beautiful little bit of um, beading there. Just It's just an embellishment, that's all. Now I'm going to come up and put a few beads on my flowers. Do you know what? I never did find that um, beige flower that I wanted to put here. 
but no, it doesn't matter because I've decided to come and put some pretty beads in there. And it should be easier to do this time round because I haven't got any glue at the back of it. So let's just do some white ones for the time being. Let's. won't see them very well um, to begin with because um, and I'm going to tie them off individually so that if one breaks they don't all fall off so there's one on there as I say you won't be able to see them very well until I get a cluster of them and they're going to look really pretty let's put this one on now Right, I'm back again just to show you quickly. This is the cover now, the, and that's the front and back done. I've put my ties on as well, and what I did is I glued the ties onto the back of um, this uh, fabric topper I made, and then I, I stitched everything onto the front cover. And this is the back, and again, I glued the tie onto the back there and then I covered it with paper and then put a little raggedy. It's quite like a rose, isn't it? It's beautiful. But that's the front cover. I've actually done the inside here cover, made a belly band there and just put a paper clip and a little bit of sari silk on there. With a, um, I had this topper anyway which matches beautifully the colors with it these um papers that i'm using at the moment are from anna griffin now in my uh, days of years ago doing paper crafting anna griffin was my fave and you can see why because of her color schemes now this is one of her um little oh rosette things here and they actually come like that and you just glue them they don't come like this they come all scored in a long piece of uh, paper and then you just fold them over and glue them and they're beautiful so as i said that looks like a lemon it's lovely so that's that page then we're on to this page here oh I've got a bit of glue there that will have to be covered there so that's this page here um, I haven't done anything. Oh, I've put a few um, die cuts inside ready that I'm going to put little images inside them there. And this is just sort of like a, a um, it's not a, a, a book mark or anything. It's just something that will fold over with a little image when I do it. And nothing here. Oh, a little fold over there as well. But um, I did put some lace on this page here because I, I thought that went beautifully. I was going to use this lace on the front, but I didn't have enough. So I just put it on this page here now. So that's my book, fairy book coming on at the moment. And I'm hoping to get this done for... Um, Tanya's uh, challenge but we'll see I'm hoping to come back tomorrow with some more I'm going to leave you with that girls um, oh I might as well leave you with this page because I love this page actually so I'm going to say cheerio now and I'll see you in the next video bye